uh, we try to get out every weekend uh, outside and do a hike, but um, every hiking trail around here, every place to bike that has any sort of publicity, it's just absolutely packed. Um, you're parking down the street, and uh, I've been trying to find places that there are no one uh, there, and uh, got an idea today. I don't think we'll find anyone on this trail, so uh, stay tuned. See what happens. And if something happens to us, nobody will find us either. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. What? Walking on rails? Yeah, I don't quite got it down yet. Hmm. I'm like, my legs are either too long or too short. Well, you can always walk right on the gravel. I'm just hitting wherever. Hmm. If I hit the thing, <laughs> it's just not pretty. Uh, nothing like a very quiet railway track. Oh, except for the guy that yelled weirdo at us. How's your first uh, train track hike going? Oh, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta pay attention. I'm getting a little tired of the... I'm getting slippy slidey. ...ties here. Yeah. But... Some history in here. Hundred-year-old rail. And beer cans. Mm. Hmm. It's not from a hundred years ago. <laughs> I wonder if you can even see the deer in the camera. The local, the local sawmill behind us. It's amazing the things you see on an old rail line. Huh. If I'm not careful, I might roll down the beach. Never even knew that. Uh, Check out the bridge. The culvert. It's cool. You don't think that's a waterfall? No. Okay, technically not. So how did the uh, rail hike go? Not very good. I'd give it a two thumbs down. Uh, almost twisted my ankle a couple times. Might be a little bit better if it was dry, but it wasn't nearly as exciting as I thought it was going to be. So two thumbs down. It was quiet. It was the only plus.